Good evening and welcome to Tia's Table. Well, it's evening here. Today we are going to continue to discuss the use of masks during COVID-19. Good hygiene is truly the best way you can protect yourself and it's also very important when you handle your mask. Now in the next video I will discuss good hand hygiene as a lot of people don't truly know how long and how to wash their hands. But for now, we are going to assume that your hands are squeaky clean when handling your mask. How to put on a mask. There are lots of videos on this on YouTube, but let me quickly demonstrate the basics. First, you put the clean mask inside the palm of your clean hands. You pull it over your face, over your nose, behind your ears. You pinch the metal strip close over your nose. And as this is a surgical mask, you pull it over your chin. Seal it, and there. The N95 is slightly different because it's got different straps. So first of all, in the palm of your hand, over your nose, take the strap, over your head below, the second strap, over your head above. You'll have a crisscross pattern. Tighten the nose, breathe in, and out to see if there is air and if it's flowing through, if there's a leak. Check again. Wow, look at the lights. The lights are pulsating. With my breathing, it's so dramatic. I love it. So, let's assume you're still wearing your mask and you want to remove it. Take it by the loops and try not to get it stuck in your earrings. Take it off. Don't touch the mask. Take a bag. Put it in the bag. Seal it. And bin it. Now wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. What if you only got a few masks and they're running out and you need to revive them? Now, doctors won't recommend this, but most of us live in the real world, and this is a reality that a lot of us will face. I have a little trick that I learned during the SARS outbreak. The virus is killed by ultraviolet rays and heat. So, if you have sunlight in your country, or you have a nice private sunny spot in your garden or a windowsill, you can put the mask in the sunlight for about two hours, of course. You should handle it hygienically, and then you can flip it over after another two hours. Wash your hands thoroughly before and in between and afterwards. Now, the data isn't out yet exactly how long it will take, so if you have more than two hours per side, the better. The virus does not survive from 60 degrees Celsius and upwards. So you can use heat to sanitize your mask. When I've been to the supermarket, I come back in, I remove the mask, remember, by the loops only. I strap it to a little contraption I've made by a, using a book stand or something similar. And then I go wash my hands. I pick up the hairdryer and I've tested my hairdryer. It goes above 60 degrees Celsius. So you can use an instant read thermometer or any other device for that, that's appropriate. I blow it on both sides properly. Don't melt the plastic layer in between like I've done with my first mask, I forgot. And then you can put the hairdryer down, you take off the mask and you put it in a safe place, a little Ziploc bag in your handbag or whatever. And then I wash the frame as well. You can do this a few times, but this will depend on the quality of your mask. Alternatively, you can just wait. There is evidence to suggest that the virus can live for up to nine days. So, let's say you have nine masks. You wear the first one, you wear the second one, and you hang it in a safe place or put it in a safe place where it cannot contaminate anything. And after nine days, you can circulate back to the first mask. I'll put the link to the meta-study that was done on how long the virus can survive on surfaces below. We'll take a look at hand sanitizers and disinfectants in the next video. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe to follow the conversation. But remember, 
Good old soap and water is still your best defense against the virus. Be prepared, and as they say in German, Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>